I have such an advantage with four legs. Good morning. All right, time to cool down, they say. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, may I walk with you and I can explain what the stick is? I don't want to intrude you. No, 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 yeah, no, come right. on, come on. Okay, so what we're doing here, uh -huh. I'm using this app okay. called Couch to 5K to get ready to run in a 5K right. marathon in October. Hmm, interesting. So, what I'm doing with right. this is a, a physical, I'm not pronouncing that right, 360 degree camera mm. that takes a photograph front and back. Okay. 306 degrees and everything around. Right. So, in this process, I'm journaling right. the training mm. and cool. the race. So I had to get used to running with it yeah. in my hand. <laughs> yeah. So what's your name? I'm Hector. Hi, Hector. My Hi. name is Thomas. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. So uh, that's explanation of. The stick, so we're taking I it. like measuring distances or something. So, but I figure out some kind of camera, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to interrupt people's privacy, so oh no, know. it's no yeah. problem. Right now, I'm at the cool down period anyway, so right. just, okay, I yeah. got two minutes to go here. All right, so this is fine, yeah, yeah Hector. Don't mind. Okay. Normally, I walk around here earlier, but I overslept today, so oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, and before it gets too hot, exactly, yeah. exactly. Like on an overcast day like today, yeah. it's pretty good to start to have a later start. Yeah, yeah. I uh, actually came out to run around the high school, okay. you know, because at my age of 63, yeah. right, 64 actually, hmm. my knees, I don't know how well it could take on the pavement, so that's why I tried to find a soft surface yeah. to run on. But the track is under renovation there at the high school, right? So, uh so I'm 58 myself. I'm back when I was like 39, 40. I try. I was living in California. I was trying to train for the LA Marathon, but I busted my knee. I was nine weeks into training, and then you know, so I rested it a couple of weeks later. Then uh, got busted again. So I cannot run. Oh. So I can just walk. Oh, I see. So well, I'm, usually I'm lazy, but um, hey, to tell me something. So yes. you were if. Get the story right. You were training for a right. marathon yeah. in Los Angeles. Right. The whole 26 miles. Yeah. And you had been training for nine weeks. Right, yeah. And then in the ninth week, you occurred an injury yeah. to your knee. Right. Well, what? Well, I joined this club, and basically, I saw an ad on the paper saying, We'll train you for the LA Marathon. Even if you have no experience, come and join us and whatnot. So, what this running club that I'll meet. Every Sunday, I will run around and get you a schedule for the whole week. Okay. So I was nine weeks into that, and then it just kind of got busted there. So, uh, so okay, so I probably did something wrong, rested it to cut the prof and got better. So the running again, happening again. So I probably better should not be doing this. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I took anything to do with, with the wrong shoes or whatever, but. Oh, but, but I just got started into this walking because I had surgery last year, I had got bladder out, so I needed to walk as part of the recovery process. I just kept going, so. Okay. So well, I used to walk only maybe like half a circuit to come back, so I'm up to three. This is my last circuit, this, you know. Okay. So, um, you know, one of my dreams, you know, which I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. It, I don't know if you ever heard of the Camino de Santiago in Spain. Have you heard that? No, it's it's tell me more. It's a pilgrimage that you walk from the French border all the way to Santiago de Compostela across northern Spain. It takes like a month to walk it. So, and that's kind of, It takes a month to walk it? Yeah, it's like 500 miles. So, 400 miles? 500. 500 like miles, that. okay. So, there was actually a movie recently, it's called The Way, with Martin Sheen and Emilio Estevez, the whole story. So it's become a lot more popular since then. Okay. So. And, and that's your goal? Yeah, that's one of the dreams. I don't know if I'll bucket list item. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But okay, yeah. Uh, you can do it on a bike. Okay. Takes two weeks on a bike. That's interesting. You have yeah. an interesting journey there, Hector. Yeah, because it's something that is kind of a religious thing. I'm not religious, but that's something that, you know, you can go, because that's supposedly where St. James the Apostle is buried in, in Santiago, Spain. Okay. So, you know, when you walk the 
the journey, you can see these hot hostels and they stamp you a little count a pilgrimage passport and a yes. certificate at the end. Okay, okay. So that's kind of interesting thing, so. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, yeah. And uh, you're a huge contributor to my journal oh. of Couch to 5K today. Okay, <laughs> so are you like online? I can see you. Sure. Uh, okay. I mean, I, like I said, I'm very respectful of people's privacy. So. Absolutely. And mine to yours. Yes. So I do have a YouTube channel okay. that I'm putting these on, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, and then. Are you taping me now? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I try. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody well, that's Hector. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would not want to talk about it. It's a problem, but not there. So oh, okay, just well. edit. Okay. Whatever. So, sure. Yeah. I can do that. Absolutely. Yeah, because trying to retain the yeah the, uh, the attention of the audience is challenging on YouTube. So. But uh, this is more or less Hector for my grandson. Yeah. I'm inspired to uh, walk, run, to get in shape right. for his future. Yeah. I'm, uh, he's only one year old right. this month, next month, August. And so I figured that I need to start doing something to take better care oh, of yeah. my health. Yeah. And uh, as frugal, the age that as, the frugal as I am, yeah. <laughs> I think running and walking is the least expensive thing yeah, I could do. I hear you. <laughs> so, and today, I like each time I go out, I'm like taking a different um, path and journey. Right. So I kind of explore and yeah. I'll go to different places to run and walk yeah. to do this training. Yeah. I just uh, concerned about my knees. Yeah. And especially now after you're sharing your story yeah. about your own right. experience and training yeah. for the marathon. Like I said, I don't know what was the problem. What I was wearing the wrong shoes. Also, I have expensive shoes that for running. I was mm -hmm. not, so I don't know mm. what was the problem. But I'm not take a chance there because things can get expensive medically these days. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but with you know, your inspiration. You know, I see you doing that, and you know, <laughs> talking you. about yeah. So. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, you're an inspiration as well. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Also, I forgot your number on table with names. James. Thomas. Thomas, Thomas. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So, well, you know, with the advancements in uh, medicine and right. science, many, and you're on 58. I can't yeah. believe I'm saying only 58. I guess right. it's, yeah, 60, I know. it's yeah. 64. Yeah. I can say yeah. only 58. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, you're looking in pretty good shape, so, yeah. Well, I've been pretty fortunate in terms of yeah. having pretty good health. Right. So I just like I said, I want to maintain so, yeah. that for to see my grandson's yeah. future, maybe all the way to high school. So that's my uh, objective. And again, mentioning how frugal I am, yeah. I get motivated by the fact yeah. that uh, if I could keep my medical costs down by being in good health, yeah. it would only be good for right. myself and my family. So, you know. Those are my little motivating tools I oh, use, yes. Hector, to keep me going. Because at one juncture, what do you do for a living, Hector? Well, I just retired oh, like okay. a year ago. Okay. I used to be a doctor. I used to work on the substance abuse treatment field. Mm -hmm. But, you know, okay. life happened. I have people in my, in my life died of cancer and different things. So I was like, well, I need to take care of myself. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's your motivation, huh? Yes. Your experiences of seeing... Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel very vulnerable. It's like, well, this stuff can happen, so... Yeah. To anybody, so... Okay. Well, heck, I got something uh, that I would love to share with you to help you overcome suffering. Is this your last lap? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you park here in the parking lot? Yeah, over there, yeah. Okay. I have... You ever heard of these words before? No. It's called Nam Yoho Ringe Kyo. What language is that? This is actually Sanskrit, Chinese Sanskrit. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I, know there was, I think it was Indian Sanskrit, I didn't know it was a yeah. Chinese part yeah. of that. So, so Nam Yoho Ringe Kyo mm. is a Buddhist chant yeah. that we believe that every human being is right. a Buddhist. Mm. And if you try saying these words, yeah. you don't have to believe me, but if you right. trust yeah. me enough for saying it, right. and you see a change, yeah. then you can believe it. Right. But okay. it's pronounced Nam. Yoho, Yoho, Ringe, Ringe, Kyo, Kyo, Nam, Nam Yoho, Ringe, Ringe Kyo. Kyo, Nam, Nam Yoho, Yoho, Ringe, Ringe Kyo. Kyo. If you chant this for something, right, yeah. you get it, then you can believe it. Right. Um, as simple as that. Right. 
Then on the other okay. side, here's this uh, a website if you'd like to know more information. Okay. And here's a intro meetings we have every Tuesday night. Okay. Uh, tonight is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Yes, we have one tonight. And uh, if you'd like to know more about it and want to contact me, okay. I'll give you my. And this is you can see the website from what we do. Oh. Yeah, my name is Thomas Polk. Okay. That's my phone number. And I'd love to have you come. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Very Thank nice you, Mr. You. So, All right. Take care. Thank you.